medicine should really strive to make people healthier rather than treat just focus on treating disease or or what we determined to be a threshold for disease state yeah yeah now all of a sudden i'm thinking in terms of dr peter atia's medicine 3.0 mm-hmm. is it medicine 2.0 or 3.0 anyway he has this vision of medicine 3.0 which is more focused on preventative yeah. treatments um and so I'm thinking that in addition to an Andrew, Andrew Huberman interview, maybe a Dr. Peter Atia interview yeah. would be uh, good yeah. for you. And maybe you can, cause he, he doesn't have the best jaws in the world either. Right. Uh, but, and he's another one that's always talking about how he's got every aspect of his life perfected. Except and, sleep. Yeah, and he's working on all these crazy sleep technologies. Right. Like, I don't yeah. know what he's up to now, but he's pumping like tons of money into some, the next greatest, Gim- not gimmick, right. but uh, like yeah. widget. The workaround. Yeah. Widget, a widget to yeah. help him sleep to better. Help. Yeah, when it's always the jaws, right? Or in his case, or in most cases, it's the jaws. Yeah. Um, and I think that falls into, you know, what we know is, is this surgery to be, it was a difficult operation, unpredictable, unstable, and not something that anyone recommends. So people just dismiss it as an option, really. And But that's only, that's based on traditional realities not not what we can do now and and have a predictable stable outcome yeah. and you know one di- for most patients a difficult week and then a lifetime of of betterness right you know but i think that as this be- continues to improve and there's more providers that are doing it and it's accessible and becomes more mainstream we'll have a completely different popular belief system around all of it yeah i totally agree you know, who's another one in that boat of optimizing up the wazoo, mm-hmm. but can't get his sleep right is Dr. Paul Saladino, the, the carnivore yeah. MD. Yeah. Who's also got n- noticeably deficient jaws. Yes. And I'm starting to think that anytime you have a hardcore carnivore guy, yeah. and this isn't like an anti-carnivore thing, because I think both you and I are open to yeah. like a protein fat first diet. Yes. Um, and I'm a big carnivore guy, and that's probably because of my sleep disorder breathing. But right. I, th- I think that anytime you see carnivore diet, yep. Peter Atia as well with his Maui Nui yeah. uh, Hawaiian venison product, like he's huge on right. meat. Whenever you see carnivore diet, there's sleep disordered breathing yeah. because it's <laughs> such a cope. True. Yeah. I mean, you're trying to do everything you can to feel better. You know, yes. we, we all now eliminate alcohol. I eliminate alcohol. Me too. Because that's going to be detrimental to my sleep and breathing and make me sicker. Um, I work out, exercise every day. I also eat very high protein and fat diets, low carb, and really trying to do everything I can to optimize my well-being. And that means staying leaner, having better sleep, having better breathing. So, yeah, yeah, I I think you're right. I think, you know, if I had amazingly strong jaws and an amazing airway um maybe i'd be eating uh the american diet and get away with it and (laughs) still feel pretty good right exactly because if you're burning hotter yeah if you have more oxygen and you get a bigger flame right you might be able to rip through more bullshit in your diet exactly and then you hear about people like you know um you know you hear legends of some athletes they're like you know that guy was out partying all night like Dennis Rodman right partying all night drinking alcohol didn't sleep then he comes out and goes on a treadmill for four hours sprinting before the game and can outwork everybody in the game it's like he can get away with a lot because he's He's optimized. That's incredible. I didn't know that story, but that really is yeah. to the point. Right. Yeah, he's notorious for that. And, you know, you can go back and watch the film and all these games. He's outworking every athlete on the court. Yeah, and has a noticeably blocky head. Yeah. He's got a good head. Large nasal passages, very large nostrils, and square jaw. And, you know, how much of that was airway? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's only a matter of time, I think, until the mainstream biohacking podcasting community yeah. picks up on procedures like the one you offer, um, you know, Rogan, Huberman, yeah. uh, Dr. Peter Atia, Dr. Paul Saladino, um, 
uh, Gary Brecker. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think there. I think once they get it, when it yeah. comes to jaw structure, yeah. I think it's going to be a huge. Uh, I think it's so going to be too. the next big thing for them yeah i think so and i think it's right up in their arena and this whole biohacking community and, you know to their credit i think that they just haven't been exposed mm -hmm. uh, to this yeah but yep. i think it's a matter of time we got to get you those interviews yeah yeah I, I think it's a good time i think i think we're at a tipping point where a lot there's you know even in the medical community a, the, the dental community has embraced airway a lot of the continuing education is on this I get asked more than ever to give talks. I have to say no to many of them because dentists want to learn about this. It's at the forefront and the same with medicine. Medicine's starting to catch on with it. And then as you know, outside of medicine, the population is hungry for this information. Correct, correct. And we were talking earlier, I think a lot of the reason it hasn't gone totally like batshit crazy in the mainstream is because it lacks the right buzzwords yeah like the biggest buzzword in this space is airway i guess right. or mewing right which mewing is sort of associated with inceldom right with like gen z insecure uh people that uh, are unhappy with the way they look and they see it as a kind of misguided vanity process right um which is which is wrong but that's the perception at least yeah and then when you talk airway what did you say earlier when people, when you, when you hashtag airway, yeah. you would get like American get airlines, American airlines united, would think, about, <laughs> think about the friendly skies. People are not really, you know, the general population is not thinking about jaws when we say airway. So there, you're right. We don't really have a good buzzword. We talked about is breathe a better one, you know? Yeah. But breathe can mean anything. It can mean anything. Does it mean meditation? So, Cause right. breathe is more like right. mindfulness. Correct. So it, it, it's true. It, you're right. We we got to figure out a better word for it. And we've been brainstorming that. <laughs> yeah. I came up with paleo face. And I like that. I like that. To me, that makes a lot of sense. But the paleo movement is kind of dead. It's been a little <laughs> bit surpassed by straight up carnivore. <laughs> you're right. Um, but maybe it has to be resurrected for this maybe. one last use case. Yep. Um, but no, for real though, if, pe if people see this interview and they think that this should reach the likes of a, a Huberman or a Dr. Peter Atia. Yeah, or, reach out to them, push it. Share it. And cause share usually, it to them. Usually yeah, those it. guys have forms yeah. where they ask you to, who, who should I interview next? Like, right. Give me a name that I don't know that's worth talking to. Yeah. They should share your that's name. Right. I think if the public can uh, reach out, um, I mean, this is information that they're going to love to have. Yeah. On there. I think they just need to be exposed to it. So it's just get, about getting the right channels. To, Derek from More Plates, platforms. More Dates. Yeah, Derek would be great. Another one with visually uh, deficient jaw structure who's constantly talking about sleep but doesn't quite understand the connection between his retronathia and his poor sleep. Right. Because he, he knows all those guys, so that could be a, another gateway. Yeah. But yeah, uh, absolutely. it's only a matter of time, right? I think so. Uh, I think so. I think the time is ripe. Time is ripe. Yeah. Time is ripe.